All right, guys, good morning. So today we've got another Freightliner DD-15 2009-2010. Got an intake throttle valve that's been acting up and giving some fault codes and some issues. Now, really quick, I wanted to show you, this is the old one. I'll show you the new one in a second, okay? This is your throttle valve. This valve itself, when you turn your ignition, this is what you hear, cycle. Now, as you can see, it's stuck. Okay, so this is telling us we have a bad throttle valve. I'll show you the fault code right now in a second, but this is exactly what's causing the problem for the customer. So this throttle valve, as you can see that carbon buildup, is no good, okay? Really quick, I wanted to show you the part number for the new intake throttle valve. Again, new EA. There is a reman option or a rebuild option starts with RA, okay? They both have a one-year warranty. I think the difference is about 20 or $30. In my opinion, go with the new. It's got a better success rate. I've installed the RA Remand, and those have uh, seemed to fail more, more than anything else. So again, for the extra $20, $30, go with the new one. Again, new part number, there's your old throttle valve. And I think they require a core, so this one's gotta go back. But anyway, I wanted to show you again. Now we're installing our new intake throttle valve. Now you can see it's pretty easy to do. Here's your hose that you need to remove for your charge air cooler on the intake side. Okay, as you can see, there's only four bolts that hold this together. 13 millimeter socket, you got an upper and a lower. Okay, here's our throttle valve. See, nice and easy, no resistance. This is your sensor that's right up here. You don't even have to remove that, but I'll just give you a little view of that. Okay, now the new throttle valve comes with its gaskets or shims. You've got one in the front, you've got one in the rear. They come with it automatically, just replace those. The old ones are junk. Here's your plug. Okay, your plug essentially just goes right in there. Okay, and some of them have a little retaining clip and I'll show you that right now in a second, but I wanted to show you this before I tighten it all down. I'll cycle the key just to show you how the throttle valve re responds to the ignition being cycled. Hey guys, just wanted to show you something. Here is the plug. So once you plug it in, you're gonna notice that it only goes in one way. You really can't mess it up, but it doesn't always snap in, okay? That's why they offer this little clip. Make sure you put that clip back in there. So once you put that clip in, that helps secure it and you don't have to worry too much about your little plug or your harness falling out. So everything's already installed, everything's ready to go. And I'm gonna cycle the ignition to show quick, you. Right one quick tip, when you are tightening these four bolts, okay? As you can see, the bolt will travel through and gets onto the intake, okay? You don't need to tighten the shit out of these things, okay? I would probably say maybe 20 foot pounds. You know, once you get there, give it a little extra something and that's it. What'll happen is you can actually break the, strip the threads number one or break this because of the, the type of metal that it is. So again, when you're installing it and you're tightening it down, you don't have to kill it. It doesn't require that type of force, okay? So again, four bolts, as you can see, one, two, three, four. And there's our intake right now. When you cycle the ignition, what's gonna happen? Hey Tom, can you cycle? Turn on, turn on the ignition. Yeah, turn the ignition on. Don't don't turn on the truck. Just ignition. And when the ignition is on, this is actually going to be moving just like it should. Okay. Once you start the truck, then everything will lock into place and be be good to go. But I wanted to show you that really quick. 